First person to live forever is already alive. What enables that sentence to possibly be true is that it's someone who's just born today. So we're working on the genome. We're isolating the aging gene, whatever that is. That newborn person, when they're 20, take this potion and they can now live to be 150. That would be a major advance on our longevity. By the time they're 40, we've improved the potion. Now they can live to 300. By the time they're 60, now they can live to 500. By the time they're 80, now they can live to 1,000. By the time they're 100, they can live for a million years. That's the notion that we'll make incremental improvements that will continue to accrue for the person who's just born today. One of two things has to happen. Either we colonize other planets or you stop making babies. Because if you don't die and you keep making babies, that ups the population growth rate. The population growth rate relies food, on the fact sources. that some people die. And food sources. And resources yeah. in general. Yeah. That's correct. So you need other planets. If you're not smart enough to have technology to get to other planets, living forever is not a good idea. And I have a rebuttal to living forever. What's that? Isn't the knowledge that you're going to die give focus and meaning to your life? Yes, I have a child and... All of this.